congratulations to Kentucky. Uh, you know, when they made plays, uh, when they needed to, and uh, we came up a little short on ours. Um, you know, decision not to go forward in the fourth quarter for me, uh, or to not kick the field goal in the fourth quarter had more to do with what had transpired earlier uh, in that ball game. You make that field goal early. Uh, earlier in the ball game, and then you kick the field goal late, and you're up by six. But instead, uh, Evan and I chose to go a different, different direction. Um, and I felt I, I didn't know how many more opportunities we'd have to get down that way. So I felt I felt uh, that it was critical for me to go forward on fourth down. Obviously, we came up short. Thought our defense played well um, early, early in that ball game. Uh, you know, McBenny led us in the second half, and, uh, and he, he found some things that he couldn't find in the first half. And, you know, we did a good job running. I thought um, and we did a good job uh, early off in that ball game of uh, winning the turnover battle and just didn't capitalize on those turnovers consistently enough uh, to, to, to stretch this game out a little bit. Um, you know, it was just that type of ball game. Um, you know, um, and we had our chances. Like I told my team, you know, we're close. And the reality is, you know, that sometimes, you know, the last part is the toughest toughest part to get. So with that being said, uh, my head's not down. Uh, this group battled. They came into a hostile environment. And, and uh, there are no more victories uh, in this ball game. Man, we had our chances, but we didn't cash in. And with that being said, Kentucky, Kentucky pulls this game out. So now uh, we got to turn our attention next week towards uh, Arkansas. So again, uh, this team, this team's got talent. Uh, we, we just got to get out of our own way. And we are close. What was the thinking? What was the thinking behind running it, with, running that specific play on fourth and one uh, in the fourth quarter? Uh, you know, stronger side. Maybe we had had some success over, you know, getting into that side running the football. Obviously, but you got a choice between running pass. We thought we thought we could gash it, uh, you know, into that side. And you know, again, they they did a good job, uh, but we didn't execute. Uh, uh, an outside defender was able to slide back inside, and then the Mark ball comes out, and they play on their part. Just, just a missed block, and then all the work. Yeah, yeah, man, we missed assignment. I mean, obviously, man, we were running zone to that side. Uh, man, we must have miscounted when we looked. You know, man, to that side, and they went out, out. Uh, man, an overlapping defender falls back inside. Free hitter on Jamari, he, he hits it, and you know, that's that's what it is. So it's overloaded like that. Is that something where Kyle can check out of that? Does he have that option? Yeah, but I, 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 I think, I think what Kyle. Um, and then Dempsey was probably the overhang sitting outside, and then we folded back inside and was able to make the play. Here's what it is. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to sit here, man, and second guess it. It's, it's out there. If he felt like he should have checked it, then he would have checked it. He didn't, so he ran. It, it's a rough ass option, so it is what it is. But the, the, the way you, you you approach fourth down, is that something where you're just talking to Andy back and forth? Is that Andy's call? How do y'all decide what the play call is? I took a timeout and asked him to give us our best call. So. With that being said, he felt like that was the best call, and we run with it. I mean, I, I I don't second guess it. I don't need to second guess it. If you want to turn this something in, if, if you're trying to turn this into something that is not, don't do it. At the end of the day, man, we did get the down. You don't get the down. We turn it over. Defense got to stop them. That's it, man. This this, this, this got nothing to do with Andy Lovett. Uh, we called a play. Should have blocked it. Should have got the first down. We did. Keep going. Jerry, talk about the, this season. This season's been a, a really really difficult season to digest. You played a number of ranked teams very well. You played Kentucky very well, but you're coming up just so short. Speak, speak to how frustrating or, or your thoughts about that. I'm not frustrated. I, I, I think, you know, I, I, I don't I don't want to get caught using you know, other people's words, uh, you know, in terms of how I feel. The way I feel right now is that we're close. And so, like, with that, this thing's got to be process driven, okay? Uh, I want the outcome, but we, we, we have to be process driven. And you've got to continue to work to do the little things, the details. We, we, we have so many details, okay, that are just missing, okay, in, in, in critical situations that it makes it extremely tough. But with that being said, you keep going, okay, man. I mean, I've got games left to coach. So with that being said, I, I, I can't afford to show weakness. I can't afford to show, you know, anything. But, but the resolve that it takes to get you that extra inch and a half to get us from where we are to where we want to be.
get the two turnovers in the first quarter. Uh, one of you turned into points. Yeah. Is it safe to say there was a missed opportunity in the second one, not, not converting that into points? Absolutely. I mean, it's missed opportunities. In a game like this where every possession was critical, where field position was of the utmost importance, you know, at every at every plus territory, uh, you know, opportunity means something to you. So, you know, again, they capitalized on theirs. We did not. Um, we just have to be better. I mean, I, I we're, we're going to look. I told my football team right after this ball game, uh, you know, we're extremely close. But like I told, that, I just told you that inch and a half that you're trying to get to get to the finish line, that's the hardest to get. You know, when 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 you're in this 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 type of fight. Okay, man, it's a fight where you gotta you got you gotta strain. And for us tonight, I saw Kentucky strain. That last sack by Josh Allen, that was strain. So, uh, or or get the ball out, that's strain. We just need a little more of that. I thought guys played hard, but just not enough. In really windy conditions out there. How, did that affect the kicking game, the passing game, anything like that? You know what? Both teams had the same <laughs> they, had, they had to deal with the same uh, elements. I think at the end of the day, they're probably built a little more. You know, like for 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 this type of ball game, uh, than than we are because obviously, man, we want to get it up and down. And there were some times where you saw the, the wind just knock the ball down. So, with that being said, uh, you know, both teams had to deal with it. So, I think uh, the, the the game was the game. Kentucky won it, and that's it. Javion Marlowe had a couple of pretty big carries on his two touches of the game. Is that is he someone you want to try and incorporate more into the offense, especially with Vaughn out on the sideline? Yeah, I mean. You know, anytime, man, you you miss a player like Keyshawn Vaughn, who can make a difference, just like Benny Snell makes a difference. But you you, you go to your guy. I thought Jamar Wakefield ran hard tonight. Uh, you know, with that, and I think Javion did well with his two touches. So, you know, we're, we're, what we're trying to do is maximize who we have and what they can do. CJ Bowman. Uh, you Snell and Josh Allen. Can you speak a little more about how this Rutgers offense can be used and how effective Benny is for Kentucky? Yeah, man, Benny, ben, ben, Benny's a great back. I mean, that's why he's leading the back. I mean, the lead, lead the conference in rushing. I mean, he, 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 he's formidable. He's something to deal with. You know, like that's for sure. I think he runs hard. I think his engine runs hot. And I think, you know, I mean, he, he's, I mean, I saw Stanford, I mean, backs like him at Stanford, where, where we would give those backs 32, 33 carries a game just because they can tote the load. That's what type of back he is. He gets better as he goes. When you look at Josh, I thought I thought Josh showed up when he needed to show up. I mean, I thought at times you know, he was effective and, and, and he was disruptive. But uh, you know, like in this ball game, he made he made the key play when he needed to make a play. When his team needed it, he made it. And I I think that's the sign of a really good play. C.J. Bowler had a couple of big catches tonight. Is he someone you see emerging now? After he had a couple of drops in the last few weeks, but you see him emerging as kind of one of those the the the, the wide receiver kind of under Pinkney and Lipscomb is a, is a good target. Yeah, I, I think all these guys are capable. I mean, CJ's been making plays for a while, so I mean, I, I don't think it's new. I think he made the play that came to him. I mean, I know he wishes he had the opportunity on the sideline to make that the, the, the catch that was down the sideline. But when it's all said and done, these guys are going to continue to play hard, and and, and their quarterbacks got to continue you know, to get these guys the ball because I think they're going to play. One last question, question for me. I was back to Josh Allen and Benny Snell. I think it's fair to guess those are two plays you wish you had for your ball. Yeah, I, like I, th I, th I, th I think they're good players. I mean, I'm not going to take, you know, Benny Snell over Keyshawn Vaughn. I like Keyshawn Vaughn myself. Benny Snell is a great back, so I'm not going to take anything away from our running backs because I think Keyshawn Vaughn is as good a back as there is. He just didn't get a chance to play tonight. And when and, and when you talk about Josh Allen, Josh Allen is tremendous. I mean, we, we, we've had great linebackers before. You know, Zach Cunningham was a great linebacker. I mean, and when you have one, you know, so – you know, kudos to those guys. I mean, I think they're good football players. I think they I mean, they played well for Kentucky. And kudos. I, I, I wish Kentucky well, making that run in the East. Thank you, Coach. You got it. Thank you, Derek. Thank you, Coach. Have a trail.